Hi viewer, I welcome you to Edim TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through Geography Form 4, lesson number 24. The topic it is Wind Drive and Tourism. I'm your tutor, Lucy Mutham. Welcome. Our lesson course today, we are going to look at game ranking. Number two, we are going to look at the management and conservation of the wildlife in East Africa. Let's get started with the game ranching. When we talk about the game ranching, it refers to the domestication of large wild animals. This is now a point where now we domesticate the large wild animals. These large wild animals may be the buffalo, it may be the imparas, it may be the ostrich, putting them in at our homes or rearing them at our homes. That is what we refer to it as game ranching. Rearing of wild animals for meat. Remember, the reason for us to keep them as domestic, it is to get meat from them, to get other products from them. So we are doing it domestically. The type of animals kept in the game ranches in Kenya are we have the imparas, we have the buffalo, we have the ostrich, helad, and the Thompson's gazettes. The game ranches in Kenya, we have the Garana game ranch and the Kikopei that is just next to Nakuru. What are the advantages of game ranching of um, domesticated and livestock? One, wild animals are more resistant to the top disease compared to the domesticated livestock. So when I domesticate the, the, the wild animals, they are not affected by the diseases like the, the, the animals that we have domesticated. Number two, wild animals can survive with water for longer periods, without water for longer periods, compared to the domesticated animals. Number three, under normal conditions, game animals produce more meat per unit area of that compared to the domesticated animals. If I tell you, you have kept the buffer compared to the beef animals. You are going to get the buffaloes are going to give you more meat product compared to the cows, beef. Game animals are adapted to the use and wider range of vegetation, thus alleviating over grazing, soil erosion, and desertification in ranch regions. Number five, the utilization of game animals under predators, proof fences, wood, Reduce theft, which is common in domesticated livestock. Management and conservation of the wild life in East Africa. Management. It refers to the effective planning and control of the wild life. In East Africa, wild life management is practiced include the formation of the we have the, the formation of the wild life management bodies that is the KWS of Kenya, Tanzania of Tanzania, who are of Uganda, that are mandated to manage and conserve the wild life. They involve the local communities in the wild life management, thus limiting the human-animal conflict. Number two, creating awareness on the importance of wild life management through mass and electronic media and the creation of the wild life crafts in schools. Conservation. It refers to the protect, protection of wild life against the interference and destruction by the human activities. Importance of conservation. To protect the endangered, endangered animals, plant species. Number two, to promote the tourism. Number three, to generate foreign exchange to sustain the raw materials for the supply of the drugs. Number four, for education or research purposes. Number five, 
for aesthetic value. Number seven, number six, to keep them for future generation. Management and conservation measures. One, tagging endangered animals with the radio signals to monitor their movement. That is one, we tag them with the radio signals so you can be able to trap it where it is. Number two, banning of game hunting and trade in game products. Number three, establishing the Kenya Rage Rants Ecological Monitoring Unit. That is the cream for reasons of establishing game parks and reserves. Then number four, establishment of game reserves at national parks for the protection and preservation of the wild animals as well as the sanctuaries and animal orphanages to protect special species that are, that are facing extinction. Uh, next, establishment of game ranches to exploit wild animals for their meat and other products at the same time conserving them. Establishing of anti-poaching police unit to guard against poachers, that is another then, employing game rages at guards to monitor animal movement and other strange activities in the park. And creation of forest reserves that contain rare species of wildlife uh, to protect them since land users uses the restricted in just areas. Activity, state for important conservation. Number two, ad state advantages of game ranching over domesticated and livestock. For reference, you can visit the KRB 2003 Secondary Geography Student Book for that edition. You can also get us through the SMS. You can get us from the YouTube. You can also get us from the Facebook. You can get us through the Twitter. Stay tuned to Erin TV. Thank you.